Hey, Pedro and Adro, we are all going to the movies to see Toy Story 4 because me and Tails wanted to see that movie. But, Sonic, and Tails, we hate Toy Story. Besides, the movie series is so boring as heck. Also, it's not made by our favorite companies. I agree with Adro, we want to see South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut instead. Pedro and Adro, we are not seeing South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut, today. We are seeing Toy Story 4 and that's final. Let's go right now or else you will be grounded. I agree with Tails, let's go right now or else you will be grounded big time. Let's go. Hello, welcome to Cineplex Odeon Cinemas. What movie would you like to see? Can we have four tickets to see Toy Story 4 please? Okay here are your tickets. Enjoy the movie. Thank you. Hello guys, what's up? Oh. Hey Mario and Shadow, what are you guys doing here? Oh. Nothing much boys. We just saw the trailer of the Master of the Flying Guillotine in the movie theater. That was cringy when the Kung Fu guy wiggled his ear. Yeah. This scene made my ears wiggle slowly. Watch this. Wow. Mario, you are so cool that you are wiggling your ears. Oh yeah. That was so cool. Wanna see my ears wiggle too? Sure, we wanna see it. Okay, just watch. Wow, Tails, you are so cool that you are wiggling your ears. Well, thanks Mario. You know, I can wiggle my ears too. Oh really Sonic? Cool. You two boys can wiggle your ears. That's amazing. Well, we have to go. See you boys later. And you mean it. Wow, that was so cool. I know, right? So, let's go to the movie. Okay, let's go. No way. We are not seeing that stupid Toy Story 4 movie. I agree with you Adro, we don't want to see this movie. Pedro and Adro, be quiet. The previews are starting right now. Warning, the following motion picture is so exhilarating, it can only be seen in IMAX theaters and other large format cinemas. I've had my fair share of injuries, over 26 broken bones. Dislocated spinal column, multiple hip fractures, internal bleeding. Nine concussions, eight operations. Been in a coma, I flatlined twice. I'm here punishing myself some more. The games are intense. <laughs> X Games is the biggest event in any extreme sport. The athletes are fearless. It takes a lot of technique and a lot of skill to be able to do the stuff we're doing. And their stories can only be captured on a screen that's 10 stories tall. They're all tweets. They've all got issues. Hardcore. The only degree I have is anger management. Touchstone Pictures and ESPN invite you to experience the ultimate thrill. The ultimate style. This guy's crazy, you know, what else can I say? And the ultimate rush. <laughs> ultimate X. Exclusively in IMAX theaters and large format cinemas worldwide. Escapes and meets his greatest foe, the 
son of steel. A gargantuan duel, unmatched by any battle in history. Thundering 60-foot robot Kong of Steel. Creation of the evil Doctor Who. Criminal genius who stops at nothing. Kong, once again, dig. King Kong shakes the earth. King Kong fights for life against the Doctor Swamp. Thrills as King Kong battles the serpent of Mondo Island. Not his Kong! Hits himself against the nation's armament. And plunges a beautiful girl into a world of terror. King Kong in a duel to the death. so charmingly different from anything the screen has ever known. Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A glow with the warmth of characters all the world knows and loves. Beautiful Snow White. You'll just have time to wash. Wash? Fearless Doc. Our house, the lip slice, the, the life slit. Blushing Bashful. Oh, gosh. Explosive Sneezy. <laughs> Carefree Happy. Happy, ma'am. That's me. Grumbling Grumpy. <laughs> Women. Ever snoozing Sleepy. Hard to get. <laughs> Lovable Dopey. And there's Prince Charming, the Heartless Queen, <laughs> and the Wicked Witch. Have a bite! Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is filled with the sounds of happiness and the songs all the world loves to sing. I'm wishing. I 
were just wondering if a fisherman had ever been used for bait. A mystery ship sailing into unknown adventures, looking for and finding dangerous charter. Outside it with your hands up. All of you! What would you say if I were to tell you that we are sitting on half a million dollars at this very moment? The dark of night hides the violent tensions caused by half a million in contraband. Give it to me! Ah! Ah! Then, off the Isle of Romance, a desperate criminal fights to the death the courageous adventurers who dared take dangerous charter. within the uncharted depths of waters surrounding a group of islands off the 50th parallel lies man's most formidable challenge. The awesome awakening of prehistoric monsters long thought extinct. Savage and deadly, their one hope is to rule our planet as they once had thousands of years back. Giant against giant. The ultimate battle. Godzilla versus Megalon. Science was baffled and powerless. A terror-stricken humanity knew that it was on the brink of total destruction. A once proud civilization now had to place its trust and hope in Godzilla and his powerful ally, Robot Man. In concert, they would fight this evil in a duel to the death. Battling by day, battling by night, it was more than a race against time. This war was an all-out effort whose ultimate purpose was to save our planet from total destruction. Now came the moment of truth. The ultimate battle. Titan against Titan. Giant against giant in the most spectacular battle yet. You'll see it all in Godzilla versus Megalon. city of gold and the two men brave enough to find it I am Miguel and I am Tulio and they call us Miguel and Tulio Seven. your dice are loaded I will give you the honor of a quick and painless death but not with that. I'll bet we can make that. Two Pesetas says we can't. You're on! You lose. DreamWorks Pictures invites you... Holy shit! ...to join two friends on an incredible journey. We'll follow that trail. What trail? To the magnificent city of gold. El Dorado. Big smile, like you mean it. They actually think we're gods. Miguel and Tulio, the mighty and powerful gods. Hello. <gasps> now, you're going to need my help. What makes you think we need your help? Are you serious? They're bound for excitement. Yeah! Who's the guy? 
You to go. go. Romance. Hmm? And danger. I know you are not God. You, you're not a god? That was good, huh? Featuring six new songs from Elton John and Tim Rice, the Oscar winning team from The Lion King. The Road to El Dorado. Here is the Columbia Pictures star, Catherine Grant, as she appears in The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. You know, a girl has to be awfully careful where she goes and what she does these days, because she can wind up in the most unexpected places. For instance, inside a magic lamp. Welcome, Princess Prissa. I want to tell you about one of the most unusual, most spectacular motion pictures ever made shot in Moorish Spain, truly an Arabian Nights setting for the most dazzling of all the Arabian Nights adventures, the seventh voyage of Sinbad. In settings like these, the cameras have created breathless spectacles. Let me show you what happens when Sinbad, the most celebrated adventurer of all times, takes his most thrilling voyage. Here he is as he comes eye to eye with the Cyclops. Marissa. Sinbad, here I am, here on the pillow. Ten thousand devils. What evil sorcery is this? Every time I see scenes from the seventh voyage of Sinbad, I keep wondering, how did they do it? How did they create the very creatures described in the tales of the Arabian Nights? They explained to me that it's done through a new movie-making process called Dynamation. But please don't ask me what it is. All I do is sit back and enjoy it. Let's sit back now and watch some more Dynamation Magic. Look out! Kill him. By this time, you've seen a lot of Sinbad played by a very handsome young actor named Kerwin Matthews. As dashing a swashbuckler as you've seen around since Douglas Fairbanks Sr. He's strong enough to carry me with just one finger. Batman, he's stuck. I cannot move it. You must try, Princess. It's our only hope. But don't think I play all my scenes with Kerwin this way. Some of the time, I'm a real big girl. For another such kiss, I'd invent a whole continent. Oh, there's more, much more in the seventh voyage of Sinbad. There are sights you never saw before, or even dreamed of. You have just seen a special preview of the new miracle process, Dynamation, which will be introduced to the screen in Columbia Pictures, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. Starring Kerwin Matthews and Catherine Grant. Co-starring Richard Eyer as the genie of the magic lamp with Torrin Thatcher. In Technicolor, the seventh voyage of Sinbad is the eighth wonder of the screen. Twentieth Century Fox presents Phantom of the Paradise. A gothic horror story. What was that? A beautiful love story. A cinematic odyssey through the rock universe. From Greece to glitter and beyond. The story of a sound, the man who created it, the girl who sang it, 
The monster who stole it and the phantom who haunts the paradise. The ultimate rock palace. Phantom of the Paradise. My music is for Phoenix. Only she can sing it. Anyone else that tries, dies. Phoenix. Phoenix. So you told me one time that you'd be somebody, that you weren't working just to survive. B. Man, you better get yourself a castrato for this. Paul Williams as Swan. And the angels that I want you to stop terrorizing the paradise and rewrite your cantata. And the Phantom. Phantom of the Paradise. There really is the Phantom. Phantom. Wow. That THX logo made my ears hurt a little. I know, right? No way. We are not seeing Toy Story 4. That movie is so boring as heck. Pedro and Adro, we are watching Toy Story 4. Be quiet and watch the movie. No. We want to see South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. Boys, we are not seeing South Park, bigger, longer, and uncut. We are seeing Toy Story 4 and that's final. Oh. You know what? That's it. We are seeing South Park, bigger, longer and uncut and that's final. Hey. Pedro and Adro. Where the heck do you think you two are going? Come back here this instant. What the heck was that all about Sonic? Hey. Where are those two Hispanic kids going? Yay! South Park! Here we come! Well, Adro, are you excited for that movie? Sure am, Pedro. Let's watch the previews, then, the movie. the fortress El Condor. It's guarded by the whole damn Mexican army. The odds of getting inside alive are insane. But for a billion in gold, and the general's woman, one professional killer, and one escaped convict, damn the odds. These are your Apaches. Did you ever see Apaches before? Nope. Well, you better shut up. Come on. Get up. Oh, no, not me. You just insulted number one brave. You gotta fight him. That's what proves a man's a man. I'm not gonna fight this. <laughs> Midget. But you can always turn and run. Right, Jeru, you you're gonna get yours. <laughs> 
why don't you admit you're scared? If you're man enough to penetrate the fortress El Condor, you've got to take a little. Oh, give me water, Lord have mercy. And give one hell of a lot. Patches. I'll run them any way I want to. We came here to take a fort. We got all we need right here. We got millions. Stupid. We can have it all. We outnumber your army better than 20 to 1. You're in here, and we're out there. With 100 of them as your army, you slaughter the soldiers in the arms of their women. Scale the walls of El Condor with steel spikes tied to your feet and use one damn sexy woman to challenge the entire Mexican army. Jim Brown and Lee Van Fleet take on everyone and each other. Let's just draw on. Riders coming! through the walls of El Condor, or die trying. up there. That was her house. And nothing from that first day I saw her, and no one that has happened to me since, has ever been as frightening and as confusing. For no person I've ever known has ever done more to make me feel more sure, more insecure, more important, and less significant. That was back when summer seemed forever. I wish somebody would invade this dopey island! Hey, Oski, it's that lady again. <laughs> Oski, you killed him! <laughs> it was one of the last summers when my best friends were the ones I fought the most. Joe! A date was the girl we met in the balcony. Tell them it's a medical journal. Why should they lie? God, they take pictures like that. Nah, they must have special cameras. Come on, what drugstores would develop them? If we took film like that, Tom and Sanders, we'd be put in reform school. Well, I, I guess they developed them themselves. When the most astonishing facts were common knowledge. Oh, Hermie, hi. And then that one woman made it all simple.
Mom. Who am I? You are a gift. We believe that you came here for a reason. I know it's been difficult for you lately. That you feel different from other kids. Just the floor, Brian! <laughs> you are different. Caitlin, get my hand up. He's a creep. Help him up. What are you doing? I want him in handcuffs and I want him gone. Do you even know who his real mother is? I'm his real mother. Let's go. Maybe there is something wrong with Brandon. I will never turn against our son. He's not our son! Hey, who's messing with me? You're one of the only people in the world that knows how special I am. There are believed to be no survivors among the 268 passengers on board. No, no, no! Whatever you've done, I know there is good inside you. I want to do good, Mom. I do. Wow, that was a funny movie. I know, right? Oh no, it's Sonic and Tails. That's right, Pedro and Adro. How dare you ditch from Toy Story 4 to South Park? You know that movie is rated R. That's it. We are going home right now. And also boys, you are going to be grounded when we get home. <laughs> Pedro and Pedro, how dare you ditch from Toy Story 4 to South Park? Bigger, longer, and uncut. You know that movie is rated R. And also, the movie was made by Paramount Pictures and Warner Brothers Pictures. And you're not allowed to watch your favorite stuff while grounded. That's it. You two boys are so grounded until Kirby Gorilla's Fanatic 2000 reaches 1000 subscribers. Go to your room right now. And don't come out until we say so, boys. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.